A few thoughts now on a former president who said this during the 2012 presidential campaign. I would point out that we have one president at a time and one administration at a time. And uh, I think traditionally uh, the notion has been that uh, America's political differences end at the water's edge. Barack Obama, that one president back then, and just before he left office, Mr. Obama said he would only speak out when so-called core values were at stake. It took him less than two weeks to completely ignore his assurances that he would observe the historical tradition that there is only one president at a time, that our differences end at the water's edge. On January 30th, Obama denounced President Trump's travel ban. Since uh, then, he's hit the Republican efforts to rescue his failed health care program and President Trump's decision to exit the Paris climate deal. Mr. Obama has even embarked on a world tour that appears to be clearly organized to mirror, to shadow President Trump's meetings with foreign leaders. Obama has met with the former prime ministers of both Italy and Britain. He talked with Germany's Angela Merkel in May before the president, just hours before her meeting with President Trump. Mr. Obama had dinner with Canada's Justin Trudeau last month, and Obama met with South Korea's new president, Moon Jae-in, in this, uh, just this past Monday, only three days after President Trump met with the Korean leader at the White House. Three days. The former president's shadowing of President Trump is appalling, and so is the silence of the national left-wing media who have supported Obama in his egregiously awful behavior since he left office and, of course, throughout his eight years as president. There's nothing surprising in it at all, of course. The former president, who spent those eight years undermining core American values, traditions, and our national interests to boot, and who now does his very best to undercut President Trump and the will of the American people. And I've noticed... Have you? That there's been not one dim with sufficient integrity to protest these aggressive and offensive acts of a former president, who is now only extending his presidential record of failure through these disgusting efforts to subvert President Trump and his administration. And I admit, I've been reluctant to add up the leaders of the GOP who have come to President Trump's defense. Maybe one day soon.